against the flower on this purse. I did video showing how to um, assemble this purse together from the parts, from the panel, from the strap, from the buttonhole and the little thingy and darning everything. Okay, so now I'm going to do beads and I'm not really happy. I have this glitter glue in here and I'm not really happy about that because it's really sticky and icky and doesn't go on as well as the clear glue. Nonetheless, I'm going to make it happen. Okay, so these are beads that have buttonholes and I'm not going to sew them on. So the I want to just make sure the buttonholes are all in the same direction and they're kind of the same distance apart. I think these beads are so pretty. Ouch. They're so pretty. I don't know if this camera is doing them any justice. They're like a really pretty bronze, brown, tan, coffee, mocha, shiny, reflective, and marble looking beads. I just think they're pretty. Anyways, so you don't need a whole lot. You don't want to have the glue showing from underneath. And if you rather sew them on, that's completely up to you. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. And I've got this glitter glue because I had run out of glue. And it was the only glue I had. And I don't want to waste it. So I'm just dealing with it. So I really like them to be uniformly apart. So you don't want it too close to your button strap. And then again, the same on this side, just reverse the buttonhole should all be going this way. And just to have the same distance apart, I think that's pretty. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drop a clue word, beads, all right? Now there's some videos I've done. I, I told you guys, I don't know if you showed up at the bingo or not, but I'm not putting clue words in the title of all videos. So there could be some secret clue words in my video. So you need to take a look. So make sure you're not, cause those are worth five each if they're secret. Like if I say, this is my favorite or I really love something, whatever it I say that I love, or that is my favorite, that's the clue word. And those secret clue words are worth five each. So you might want to check, make sure you haven't missed anything. Anyways, okay, comment at least one clue word to be entered into my giveaway. If you're not interested in giveaway, you just like my tutorials, that's fine. I'm speaking to all my viewers, not just those stopping in for crochet or whatever craft tutorial. And there you have it. Ta da! And this is my V shaped purse. And yeah, so there's that this little buttonhole. I didn't like that the glue was showing a little bit. I may mess with that later and just sort of get that off of there. I'll tidy this up later and I'll be doing a lining. Um, how to line your purses. I think lining is good for crochet purses because it prevents stretching. And um, I I like hidden pockets. that you, they're, It's basically a wallet and a purse in one. And stores, you know, they're hard to find. You know, they're hard to find in stores. This is a really bulky Chanel yarn that Bella's Crochet Craft sent to me. Thank you so much, Bella. You all go check out her channel. She's a sweet person. And nice, really thick, bulky Chanel. That makes for a nice purse. I made a blanket out of the stuff she sent me, too. And so, yeah. And this is the buttonhole, which is optional. You don't. You can use Velcro or snaps or don't have one at all. That's completely up to you. And so this is the smallest one I've done. And this one's, um, this was, I think, 11, 10 rows or 11 rows. Anyway, so this one's a little bit bigger, and I used beads on that as well. I haven't lined this yet. I tucked this right here. And then you have this one, which I think is the same size as this one. I think I used the same dimensions. Now, the thing about it is, if you if you basically you'll chain, say, 12 or whatever, and whatever, you'll have sections, and they're basically square. So if you want bigger than your panel that you start out with, your chain will be, if you want a bigger purse, make your chain wider. But the deeper that your purse is, the wider it is because they're squares. So they will, they will increase 
in the dimensions, not just the depth, but this way as well. So if you want a bigger purse, you just make your chain wider. And so this is the biggest one that I've done with, with this. So, yeah. Hope you have a good one.